Now, Beverly, how would you fancy getting married on a sun-kissed <laughs> sun Indian beach? Oh. Or a, with a, a Bedouin tribe in the middle of the Egyptian desert? How does that sound? Or um, how about a Buddhist ceremony in Thailand, perhaps? All of those, I think. But having said that, once is enough for most of us. But not husband and wife, Tony and Larissa Kaplan from Thannington near Canterbury. They've had all of the above and a registry office wedding. After meeting on a strawberry farm in Kent, they quickly tied the knot again and again and again. Ria Chatterjee reports. Four weddings in three different continents planned by two lovebirds who can't get enough of walking down the aisle. Our first wedding uh, was a very simple ceremony in Canterbury Register Office. When he asked me to marry him, the first thing in my mind was yes. We went on a honeymoon to Goa uh, in uh, January and uh, we ended up having a Hindu wedding. I suppose I am addicted to weddings because it makes me feel special. Wedding number three was uh, even better than the first two. Uh, we went to Egypt in uh, November 2007. My friends and family, they think that I'm mad. Wedding number four, we went to Thailand in uh, March of this year. Uh, and in the April, we had a Buddhist wedding. Oh, my favourite wedding was wedding number five. Num number four, number four, sorry, number four is in Thailand. I lost count, I'm afraid. <laughs> sorry. That's four fun filled weddings, though Egypt was a bit iffy. But I was a bit worried that they can rob us every moment, and I would end up in the middle of the desert. Without any clothes and money at all, so yeah, that was a bit scary. I'd have run and got help, wouldn't I? What direction would you go? <laughs> Towards the sun. All oh, right, yeah. okay. So, wedding number five. We mentioned it to our skiing guide just last year, and he said, "Well, I could arrange something in the mountains—a traditional Bulgarian wedding—and then we'll ski down the mountain afterwards." How does that sound? It's about getting into someone's culture, and all the cultures are different. And if you love travelling, it, it just gives it a little edge. They say they want to marry in every country in the world. Ria Chatterjee, BBC Southeast Today.